give it up for Mel Buttle. Ah, oh, thank you very much. I can't relax, ever. And, uh, no, I can't relax after doing shows, right? So what I have to do is I have to go home, I have to find a TV show and I have to watch it till I'm exhausted and I can go to sleep, right? So the TV show I'm watching at the moment to relax to is called Embarrassing Bodies. Do you guys know this show? Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's not the best, it's not the worst, it's in the middle. But if you've never seen it, don't worry. Every episode's the same, don't worry about it. Because what happens is there's always a lady lying on a hospital bed on her side with a sheet up to her chest. And the doctor goes over to her and goes, right, what seems to be the problem then? At this point, the lady will say, I've had a bit of an unusual feeling in my rectum for about the past 10 years. So the doctor pops down there, right? She pulls the sheet back, the camera goes in, they pull this woman's ass cheeks apart, something the size of a Jack Russell pops out. And the doctor says, the good news is that's not cancerous. Unfortunately, though, that will continue to grow in size and will require surgery. If you've seen this show before, you will know at this point in every episode, the doctor says something and the patient always says the exact same thing in response, right? At this point, the doctor always says, have you had anyone take a look at that? To which the patient says, haven't had a chance. Where do you work that you are that busy? Where do you work that there's something that Bindi Earn would, would take care of hanging out of your bum? And you cannot get yourself to a doctor. What are you, an astronaut? <laughs> oh, I'm on the moon, June, July, August, yeah. Like, how hard is the leave form at your work to download? That's a PDF, I'm right clicking, right clicking, right getting nothing, oh well. Sorry, Tristan. <laughs> I've named him Tristan, I'll pop some googly eyes on him, give him a bit of personality, you know. Like, if, if that woman, if, I, if she worked for me, if I was that lady's boss, right, and she came up to me one well, afternoon, she was like, oh, Mel, sorry, I'm just going to need to have the afternoon off. I just need to go to the doctor. I'm like, what for, Leanne? What for? We're bloody chock-a-block out there. There's invoices. I don't know what happens in real jobs. Uh, <laughs> I just don't know. But if, I, if she came up to me, she's like, Mel, can I have the afternoon off to go to the doctor? I'm like, oh, what for? She'd show me Tristan. I'd be like, whoa, you're right, actually. No, you're right. Take the day off. Take the week off. Take the month off. Take the year off. Take your chair with you, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's your chair now. That's yours. Give it a wash. Give it a good scrub. <laughs> and then a scrub. But that's my number one relaxation show. My number two relaxation show, it's called Freaky Eaters, right? And it's on quite late at night. And if you've ever seen it, it's just the best show ever, right? Because they find these people who think they have eating disorders and they follow their journey for a week, right? But every episode is just this. It's, every episode, it's just exactly the same. It's, hello, I'm Terry, I'm 52, I'm a lorry driver, can't stop eating crisps. <laughs> this is Terry, he's 52, he's a lorry driver, he can't stop eating crisps. <laughs> this is Terry's wife, Linda. Linda wants Terry to stop eating crisps. I want him to stop eating crisps! <laughs> Linda says Terry smells like crisps. He smells like crisps! <laughs> Terry says he can't stop. I can't stop. <laughs> Terry says he eats crisps in his truck. I eat them in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Do that for 45 minutes, right? Send in nutritionists, psychologists, doctors. You know what, Terry? You don't have an eating disorder. You just really fucking love chips. <laughs> That's about it. But uh, I'll leave you on this. I'll leave you on this. Uh, like, my dad is actually uh, an ex-chef, right? And he doesn't care about food, he just doesn't care. He, there's an age where you just stop caring, right? And I call it dad age. You know dad age? It's when they, they just get Dick Smith glasses, right? They just stop trying and the optometrist, just, yeah, put them on me face. <laughs> Are they steel? Put them on, right? So he, he just checked out about caring about food. And I said to him, I was like, Dad, what's your, what's your favourite food? Your birthday's coming up, I want to cook you something nice. And Dad's like, oh, my favourite food, my favourite food, it'd have to be bloody mullet. I'm like, mullet? That's your actual favourite food, mullet. And Dad's like, yeah, 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 I really love mullet. I love mullet. I was like, what's so good about mullet? I, oh, he's like, I love mullet because what you don't eat for dinner, you can use as bait. <laughs> You're eating bait for dinner, Dad. And I said, Dad, that's really odd. That's really weird. I'm going to mention that on stage because that's a really weird favourite food. And Dad's like, whoa, 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 how many, how many people are going to be there, please? I was like, I don't know, a couple of hundred, I don't know. Dad's like, well, you cannot go around the country telling groups of upwards of 200 people how good mullet is because the prices will go through the fucking roof. <laughs> I'm Mel Butter, see you later. <laughs> You're welcome, Mel Butter.